Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to episode number 8 of my Generation Zero Pistol Only Let's Play series. We have to find some enemies to kill so we can get the Martin Bunker unlocked. Now, probably an easyish way of doing it is if we just go straight to the bunker, there's probably going to be runners or other enemies out the front of it so we can just kill them and that'll be no issue at all. Alright. Continue on our way. Oh, enemies. What do we got? Okay, hunters. That's fine. How's it going, guys? I don't even know what my sensitivity's on. It was a bit high, I'll tell you that much. Ouch! Woo! Hey, yup. Oh! I think it blew up the tick at the same- no, it didn't. The tick, it lives. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just, I'll just whiff 500,000 shots. Right, let's head over to Marden. Now that we've got all the things anyway, so we don't have to worry about that even. Uh, let's get this reloaded. So, I think if we could, if we get up to the point of base defense, when we get up to the point of base defense, if we get lucky and get something like a 44 ammo that lets us uh, do some really good damage, it'll be very, very helpful, I think. Now, you're going to have to let me know, guys and girls. With this episode, I'm probably going to cut out a lot more than what I normally do as we run through here. Now, I want you guys and girls to let me know whether you prefer that or not, because I would... In, in some ways, I think moving to a, a more cut-down uh, version of playthroughs is the better idea. Great, he said he's siren off. We're going to have a bunch of runners up our bum in a minute. Maybe. Yeah, I think that might be more reasonable, but let me know in the comments. Okay, we're at the bunker. There's going to be some runners in this front area. I'm pretty sure. Maybe not. Alright, I guess I'm going crazy. I swear there was some runners in this front area. Well, there usually is, at least. Let's see, what else can we grab from this front bit? Not a lot. One truck and one container. Thread's good. Another handgun scope, but that is infinitely worse than what we already have. Come on. Uh, power is this way. Let's go. There's something through that wall that wants my attention. More than likely a tick. Alright, we're just going to ignore him for now. We'll just head down here. Sometimes you just breeze through these areas and it's great. Okay, we actually have to be up. For some reason, I, you, a lot of the time, oh, nearly missed an ammo box. And I know I'll occasionally miss them, it's fine. We're not going to, we're not going to die because I miss an ammo box here or there. Of course, it's nice to always get everything, but sometimes you miss loot, it's fine. Alright, we get the power switched on. Uh, yeah. That's a thin looking ammo box, bit hard to spot. Nothing hiding back there, no, yep, there's one. A lot of the time you'll find they're in a pretty, they're in a 
pretty general spot. They're, they're always in like a, a usual spot. Most of the time at least. Who wants my attention now? Nothing else in here. I've literally got the world's most annoying fly. I don't even know what he's doing in the house. But he is just driving me crazy. Ah, oh, something tripped the generator. God, I need to pay attention. I wonder what tripped the generator. Maybe it's the tick. It's hiding right in this corner. One there, one there. And then the one there. Annoying succubuses. Let's continue on our way. Go back up top now. Thank you, Tix. I appreciate it. I can't even navigate this place. Oh. Yeah, we got a runner in here. And he blew up both the ticks that were there. So that made my life that much easier. Okay, awesome. We is in. Warboard time. This is studio of Servico Pestison at the IJ factory outside of SPV. Why are you not answering? We are being shot at. Our emergency alarm triggers aren't working and neither is the radio. We need assistance now, damn it. We've got millions of liters of hazardous materials out here and the wind is easterly. One stray bullet that Earth to week could be covered in a goddamn toxic cloud. Do you hear me? Morden, this is Ture Ludwig 3. We know you're not answering, but hopefully you're still listening. We have pursued the enemy into the forest. Approximately one click northwest of Jokkvarns sawmill. Still no sight of the Behind! Take cover! This is Emil Sandberg for the news on SR4, November 8th. As we have previously reported this morning, it became evident that several people were killed around the Östertörn area during the night. Police is being restricted with the details, but sources to SR4 confirm that over 10 victims have been found. It is unclear at this point to what extent, if any, these murders are connected. One of the victims was found in the Lillå neighborhood in Östervik and SR4 talked to one of the neighbors who had been in contact with the police, Fredrik Blom. It's horrible. Even when I warned them, I saw the flying metal thing going right over our house last night, you know. I told the police, but they didn't believe me. It's true. You know, Uncle Kalle was right. They did it. It was the damn aliens. Yeah, sure it was, buddy. But you don't realize it was your own government. Okay, let's see. Alright, that's another bunker unlocked. We could just literally go around and get all the bunkers and then just bang out a bunch of missions, but I don't think we'll do that. I think we'll do some missions in the forest area, so the closest one to us is Courage, Power, and Resilience. Go to the last known location of Coastal Ranger Squad. Let's do that one. Uh, looks like we've, it's a kill objective, because I can see the markers for them already. Where's the exit? It's the next one up, isn't it? There we go. I'm figuring it out. I remember, I remember. We've got a decent amount of ammo, so I'm not super worried. I would like some more 9 mil, but... To be honest, this Klaus has served me better than what the Magnus has so far. But then, the Magnus will probably serve me better against bigger enemies. Rather than fighting uh, the smaller enemies. Coming up on some runners. Ooh, didn't even get a bullet off. That's the way you want it to go every time. That's not how it works every time, but you wished it did. It'd save a lot of med packs. 
Ammo, ammo, more ammo. What do we got hiding here? More ammo? More backpacks. Oh, fire burns. Yeah, okay. So realistic. I've never actually checked that, to be honest, whether standing on a campfire in any of these places actually hurts you. This seems like a, a place you'd hide a collectible, doesn't it? Just like this blown out building. It really does. Ooh, hello. What we got over there? More runners? Alrighty. Should be pretty easy. I was about to say use the rock for cover to your advantage, but... They, are uh, pushed up on me. Ow. Rip. Just when I was saying about not taking damage as a delight, well, we took... a pretty decent amount of damage there. That was not how I wanted it to go. We're basically right up here. I think the majority of them should be runners. A, major a lot of the time, that's what it is. So we should just have to deal with some runners. And it'll be all pretty swanky-danky. Easy, easy peasy. You can already see them down here. These are the ones that are outside. These guys are inside, so we can do the grenade trick that we did, I think, last episode. Oh. Down. That was better. What are we doing? I'm pretty sure when I played my normal playthrough, I did the exact same thing. Here we go, no damage. Another gun. Oh, pistol. Give me all these good goods. Give me all the good goods. All the loot. Okay, eight. Well, seven. Seven. Alright, here we go. And we do this, and we go like this. And you wipe them all out in an instant. Makes life infinitely easier rather than bringing yourself in here and trying to shoot them because what will more than likely happen is they'll accidentally shoot the containers and blow you up. So you definitely want to do it the way I did it if you can. Okay, another skill point. Now... Do we... Which way do we go here? Do we get steady feet and then these ones? These next two and then do that? Maybe we'll do this first, and... yeah, okay. We'll get it, we'll get it. Although I do think that specialization is very important, so I think I'll probably still spend my next three points going down that tree. The extra ADS speed and that, I don't really notice, to be honest. It's not significant, like, you know, you play a Call of Duty game or something, and it's like, faster ADS speed, and your gun goes, bomb, 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 bomb. It's, it's quicker, but it's not, it's not that quick that I'm really noticing it too much. Do we have any... Oh, I guess the best way to do it is to go to this safe house and just run our way across the top of the mountain, down to Not Alone and the Gas Factory. Oh, not Alone is not... Gas Factory is one that we could do. Not Alone is part of Phoenix... And there's flying objects that's down at Ostevik, which actually we might go do that. Okay, I was just running across the field and now we've got some hunters that want to have a, a bit of a fun time. Which is fine with me, we're just going to sneak up and... Pow, 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 pow. Pow, 
Okay, we got one down. Beautiful. Oh! I must have... Hit him first. Oh, okay, hang on. That's what's happening. Runners, screw off. Oh, hang on. Uh, we got a few runners hanging, coming for us. There we go. God. I just want to go to Ostevik. Let me go to Ostevik. Okay, hang on. Get rocked. Absolutely rocked, my friend. Okay, we're in Leela. We need to find a map. And there is a tanky poo right here as well. Now, when I played my original playthrough, this tank was in the exact same spot. Uh, and he didn't do too terribly much. He kind of just chilled there. Oh, God. We accidentally made him aware, though. Which is not ideal for us for what we're trying to do. Trying to just sneak up and get this map. So we can figure out... Where the house that we need to go to is. This runner's going to make it difficult though. Maybe, maybe not. Guess not. Whoop. How you doing, tank man? He's just big chilling, dude. Like, he's, he's, he's cool as a cucumber. Leela is built along two main streets. Ballard Garten runs in northwest, south, east direction and intersects with Little Garten, which is generally southwest to northeast. Now we need to find a phone booth to look up Frederick Bjorn's address. What weather it is, too. Like, it has to be raining right now. Makes it even more creepy. This would suck. Like, it would suck enough to have to avoid robots, but it would especially suck to have to avoid robots while also having to deal with it in the rain. Uh, yeah, okay, we can do it. Frederick's house is over here. Let's try and see if we can get up and just cruise our way over here. Nope. Oh. Catch you later, homie. I hear a runner. Can we go in through this door? This would make, yep, things so much easier. Thank you, game. One of the victims is Ingrid Gravis, a respected biologist and researcher who rose to prominence when she and Dr. Svan von Ulmer won the Nobel Prize for Physiology or or medicine for their breakthrough discoveries on neurotransmitters in the 1970s. You can read that if you guys and girls want. Some things I'll read, some things I just can't be stuffed. This is Detective Mats Hanson, Estevik Police Station. We have noted your report about a flying object over Lilo this evening. We have not received any similar reports from anyone else, including the Army, who, as you may know, has a substantial presence, including radars, on us to turn. Please. Stop calling us, and perhaps try to get some sleep. Thank you, and goodbye. If only you would listen to him. 
You stupid bastards. Now look what mess you guys are in. You're probably all dead, to be honest. Okay, where are we going now? Ah, the end. That's right, we need to go to the complete opposite end of the town. Oh, no. Oh, that's not going to work, but we can go out the same side door, which is convenient. Oh, hello. Fireworks and stuff. Radio. Oh, more guns. Holy crap. You had a few guns in here, huh? You weren't messing around, man. You you saw what you saw, and you weren't going to let anybody else tell you otherwise. So you were fucking loaded. You were ready to, to kill shit, man. Uh, we're just going to avoid the main street pretty much completely, as much as we can at least. Uh, whoop. I don't know where I am. I have escaped. The perfect crime. He's gonna walk over there and be like, Chris! Where's, where's Sean? Where'd he go? What happened to him? Alright, I am at his house. I think this is it, right? Locked requires key. Thank you for the key. Search Ingrid's house for clues. Hey, honey, look, sorry, but I'll need to work quite late tonight again. Guess you'll be watching the game at your brother's anyway, right? Svante's condition is... Um not improving at all, and we... We finally made the decision today. I know it's the right thing to do, but I can't help feeling that I've... let him down after everything. Maybe we could talk for a bit when I get home. Love you. Dr. Ingrid Graf Gravisk's notes. Mmm. Flying objects. Nope, that's flying blind. Flying objects. Recent research notes. Was apparently one of the scientists working at FOA 53. She kept a few haphazard notes of her work. Convergence program with RA currently stalled. Success only at an experimental level. Test results on rats stable and with good repro rate, but it only takes minutes for the connection with the AU to be lost. Experiment only conclusive in sterile environment. Live testing in non-sterile environments not possible for the foreseeable future. Rolling out the new procedure for your immune system suppression chemical injection delays the kytokine response for four to eight hours, depending on the subject. A 30% increase over radiation. Svant is sick again. Think he's lost weight. Told him he's working himself to death, but he wouldn't talk to me. Alrighty. Well, oh, that's fun. They're going to run their way over here now. Locate the IGA factory to find out why it is of importance to the machines. That is the one over here. Did we get a safe house here? We did not. Okay. Got myself into a safe house. Which is very, very good for us to have done because now we have this unlocked if we need to come back down to Ostevik, which we definitely will at some point. Running through Ostevik is a lot more dangerous than running across the top of the mountain and down to the gas factory. So we'll probably do that. Okay, I decided to pick up another safe house just back here, pretty much on top of the mountain. Uh, we want to stay up for now. Getting back down is going to be difficult. Now, when you have that specialization, well, if you choose to get the specialization that allows you to uh, not have to use an adrenaline shot, I would jump off the top of the mountain as far down as you can and just let yourself die and pop that because if you get into combat after it, it's going to reset. Anytime you go in and out of combat, it resets that. So, you can use it quite frequently, and it is very, very useful. Now, I think 
We can reasonably gently come down this mountain. We don't want to do the not alone one. We're going for the gas factory. We're not worried about Phoenix missions just right now. I don't think we need to go making ourselves want to blow our brains out too early into this playthrough. Gas factory is already going to be difficult enough as it is. It's a pretty big place. And if my memory serves me correctly, there's at least a tank. You can avoid him. He kind of hangs out in the far edge. The other enemies, though, not, not uh, unavoidable, but they do make it difficult to avoid them. Let's just say that, so... We've actually pretty much gotten down this whole mountain and took no fall damage. It's got to be a miracle. That is an absolute miracle. Alright, now the fun part. Now, I think... Oh, you know what might be not a bad idea? I can't tell if there's a fence down here that stops us from getting in from this way. And there might be... Uh, maybe not. Maybe we can go in from this way. So you see the tank, he's out... Over there. No, he's not. He's there. I just told you a crane was a tank. Proves how good I am, doesn't it? Yeah, we can go in through this way. This will actually avoid some of the combat, too. I do think we have to make our way back that direction anyway, but avoiding it for now is good. We've got a lot of ticks here, though, that we've got to shoot. There we go. Whoop. Sneaky hiding ticks. There's probably a runner just around up here in, in this corner. No. So I think this one is actually near another tank. Now I'm thinking about it. There's two. There's one here and one out there. Oh, there he is. So if we could avoid alerting him, that would be great. Okay. Sneak up and around here. There's a C4 tick there. Why was that floating? Search the warehouse offices for clues. I don't know why that was floating, I'm not going to question it, as long as we avoided the C4 tick, that is the best case scenario. So, until the landfall update, coming here would actually let you get the head up round schematic. But apparently that's somehow broken now. You can't access the room that it's supposed to spawn in. It's all blocked off with boxes, so... Luckily on my normal playthrough I actually got it before that change was done, but I guess in this one I'm not going to be able to now. Oh, wow, I stood up for 0.2 of a second and that tank got alerted to my presence. What the hell? Okay. He's turned around now. Now there is hunters, I think, up here. Or at least I fought some hunters up here last time. Yeah, I can hear them. They're out there. There it is. Max, Max, answer God damn it. The thing's shooting at us. It's some kind of robots. I'm not kidding. But listen, they have fuel cell tanks on their backs. It looks like our tanks. I could definitely see one B3 and I think a B5 as well. Aren't we shipping those to the army? What the hell is going on here? You have to find out if any are missing from the storage and contact the army. I'm going to try to get out. Rip. You were going to try to get out. Correction.
Okay, we might just be able to avoid the hunters. I think it might have been this built this building. This one here, right in that doorway is where the head up schematic was. And as you can clearly see, you can't get in there now. Alright, C4 bro. I still don't know where I am. He's just gonna keep following me because of the noise. Memo to warehouse foreman. To Anders Nilsson, warehouse foreman from George Hansen, head of distribution, IGA. Mr. Nilsson, I'm hereby making you aware of temporary requirement for our storage distribution. We have a final shipment of the year of B2 fuel cell tanks going out the 13th. I am aware that we usually house the B series in warehouse F, but I have had a request to prepare this shipment with more discretion, so I recommend we load the containers in G instead. I do realize we're currently storing ISG90 in G and I don't need to remind you of the volatility of the B series so please make sure to keep these two as far from each other as the warehouse allows. Find and destroy the fuel tanks. Of course I can't go out that door that would make my life too easy. Yeah so this is gonna be located over where the hunters that we saw before we got in here were over towards the front entrance. Crap. Hello. How are you doing, fella? Wish you could just go up behind him and just take him out of the knees. Hey guys, how you doing? Yeah, 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 pleasure seeing you today. Mmm, yes. Lovely weather we're having, right? Yes, it's beautiful. <coughs> I don't know, man. How I did not get spotted is ridiculous. So these fuel tanks will be in a bunker up here. Keep walking. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yep, just look over there. What's over there? Oh, nothing, nothing. Yep, yep. All is well, all is well. How's the wife and kids? They're good, yeah, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yep. Good, 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 good. This is all coming up Millhouse. Just sneaking through here ever so... Oi! What is there? Well, I thought I was spotted there for sure. Oh, hello. Are you an APOC? One? Oh, come on, man. What the fuck are APOC runners doing here? Leave me alone, man. Alright, now the good thing is we get to do the same thing that we did pretty much with the other ones. We get to open this door. Oh no, we can't. Requires a key. Uh, I'm trying to remember how to get in here. Can't remember if there's another entrance or not. That's for not alone. Do I have to get that... Do I have to get that key? I'm a duty brain. There's another entrance just over to the right of it. Just over here it is. There's another tick in there. There we go. This is what we want. Oh, shit. Hey guys, how you doing? 
Yeah, 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 yep, just go back inside. All is well. I'll take care of you, so I'll take care of you. So no problem at all. No problem at all. No, 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 no. Yep. <laughs> it's all good. We're all friends here, right guys? We're all friends. This is ridiculous. This is not how I handled it last time. I ran in guns a-blazing. This is a very different way to do it. I'm getting a little bit impatient, not gonna lie. Okay. We've blown our cover. Screw it. Really, I dodge all the military raided guys, and then I get hit by a prototype boy. So, I'll have you know that this is going to go boom boom. Run! And then, so is this one. Come on. And boom, 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 boom. Well, that hurt a lot. There we go. <laughs> Toxic. Chemicals. I don't think there's anything in here for us. Get out. Oh, that, that... That is not convenient. You wanna open the door, fellow? Thank you. I don't wanna die in here. Let me out. Okay. And that is another mission done. So, uh, let's head back. Let's just go. I guess it really doesn't matter because we can just fast travel from wherever we go to anyway. Hence why I try to get safe houses close to missions I'm going to as well while I'm at it. Because if we have to go back down there later, it makes my life so much easier, right? It's just the smart thing to do. If you can grab a safe house while you're already at it, go for it and get that done. It'll make your life easier later on. So with that said, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Generation Zero in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you'll have a lovely day. All right, peace.